This is the Aussie port for March 23rd, 2024. And let's start with the market dashboard overall because we have some, some large movements in some of the categories. Overall, market slightly up um, by 1%. That sounds very little, but in one week, that's actually quite a lot. Why is it up? Mainly because we're um, not talking about moon materials this, this month or this week. Moon materials was the reason the, the, last, the last weeks. We're talking minerals up 6% and we'll have a look in detail what that means. Uh, spoiler alert, Morphite has a lot to do with that. All right. And also ice products are up. So we have some isotopes that are uh, that are going up. Uh, that's probably a lot of capitals moving, but it might also be uh, fuel blocks being created for reactions. But either way, ice products up 7%. That is uh, quite, quite massive. If we look down here into the pilot services as... Um, uh, as CCP calls them, Plex is up 1.4%. Again, largest market in game of a uh, single item. And that being up 1.5% is uh, interesting because up until recently, we still had that hypercore sale going on. And we also have those cerebral accelerators in the new Eden store that you can buy for Plex. So there is a lot of upwards pressure for Plex still. And the sale that they had on Plex didn't actually do enough to hold this back. And we also have uh, skill injectors and skill extractors going up. They usually go hand in hand. So that makes sense. And then, of course, we have the hyper cores going up 22%. But remember, they went down 50% last week because there was a 50% sale on them in the new Eden store. So this is just the market coming back a little bit. Overall, they're still, they're still 30 to 40% under 52-week uh, average. So absolutely hyper cores. Um, they might take a, lot, a long time to recover, but it's still, in my view, a very, very good investment. Uh, it's, it's one of the situations where I actually did make a large uh, trade because this is, you know, such a no-brainer. When any of, uh, when an item that is trading at 23 billion a day is on 50% sale and the price goes down by 50%, the demand is not going to completely go away after this, right? It's going to slowly climb back up as we see with the skill extractors. And so to me, this, in the last week, this was still a no-brainer investment, the hyper course. Cerebral accelerators are unchanged. We'll talk about those in a second as well. Um, and then overall, um, there hasn't been, you know, that much except for down here, you see fuel blocks up 5%. That's a direct result of the ice prices changing. But now let's um, go and have a look quickly at the in-game store. All right, this is the new Eden store and the Hypercore sale has ended. So Hypercores are now back to normal price. Uh, and you can also see here that the cerebral uh, accelerators, they are still in here and they are here to stay. They're not, a, they're not a sale, they're not a temporary thing. I think that CCP's plan is to keep them in the game. And so what this means for, uh, for these various markets, we can have a look here. So first of all, Master at Arms Cerebral Accelerators, you guys are just proving me wrong, okay? There is healthy demand apparently for master arm cerebral accelerators, even though these are less convenient and trading still 30% above the cost of the cerebral accelerators in the new Eden store that you can just buy with the same money. Okay, all you have to do is take your ISK, turn it into Plex, and then buy the cere cerebral accelerators in the new Eden store and you save 30%. There shouldn't be any demand on master at arm cerebral accelerators, but there still is. The only difference being that the master at arm cerebral accelerators, they are tradable on the market and the new Eden store cerebral accelerators are not. So there you have to actually apply them directly and these you can uh, leave sitting around. Is that worth 30%? In my view, absolutely not, especially not if you're min-maxing, but apparently um, not enough people are doing the um, uh, are, are doing that uh, uh, that transfer calculation in their heads. And so proving me wrong. I raised an alarm bell. I actually told CCP, hey, this is going to make Master at Arms Cerebral Accelerators crash, and it didn't happen. Um, but, you know, it's, uh, it's great that these th things still happen because whenever people are making uh, unreasonable decisions, there are opportunities for money to be made in-game. 
skill extractors still rising all right these are these are coming back uh skill injectors are um, basically flat and so if we look at our uh, our skill farming formula that i always like to look at with you guys we're looking at a per account profit of around 650 million per month if you subscribe at the 12 month plex price so that's you know quite quite profitable so a lot of people are still making money off of skill farming at these uh, high prices what does that mean for your skill extractor price skill injector prices don't expect these prices to rise the logical thing would be for skill injector prices to slowly go down one reason they're not going down is because skill, skill extractor prices are still rising and so that's an uh, just an interesting thing to look at overall certainly the upward pressure on plex isn't uh, isn't helping either right so uh this is this is, you can see it very clearly current sell price in in Jita is over 5.1 million on plex and expect that to um to to still rise a little bit as long as we're seeing cerebral accelerators at very good pricing in the plex store and um uh, and there isn't uh, a another major sale on plex in the in the real money store so you know plex probably stays high large skill injectors I would expect them to drop down a little bit because probably, probably at some point CCP is going to run another skill extractor sale. If you ask me, the skill extractor sales, they went really well for CCP. People bought a lot of Plex to take advantage of the last, uh, the last sales or they traded in a lot of Plex. And in the end, CCP has a big interest in people buying Plex and people using their Plex. Uh, both of it, both of these actions are very profitable for their financials, and so, uh, you know, we uh, we were coming from 500 million. We had the massive sale. They were a little bit careful. We had another sale uh, last November. Now we're back over 500 million. I would not be surprised if there's another sale coming up. Right now, let's uh, let me look at my notes we're going to talk about some other items here as well so if we look at items that are trending up so items that are getting more and more expensive hypercores we already talked about okay they dropped 50 percent. now they came back 20 percent. but there's a long way to go so probably a good investment especially if you look at you know how many how many are out there you can buy a bunch of them at 340,000, and a few weeks ago this would have been a massively good price so hypercores probably a good investment but also if you compare the amount of hypercores sold to the regular traded volume regular traded volume around 100,000 and we had you know some days where we have uh, 2 million you know 1 1 million 2 million of them sold every day so this is going to take a long long time to recover but it's more or less a a no brainer investment if you if you don't want to day trade, if you have a, maybe a lot of uh, Plex or ISK lying around and you want to invest in something, Hypercores could be, could be it. Because apparently um, the Hypernet is here to stay, unfortunately. The other thing I want to talk about is, is Morphite. So Morphite is a basic mineral that is just absolutely going through the moon. All right, Morphite is up 30% again this week right it comes from mainly from nullsec from mercoxid it's used for jump raiders marauders and lancer dreadnoughts like at least those are the ones that have high trade volume and have a high component of uh, morphite in them so this is just a you know a a direct a direct um show yeah the marshal as i see in in uh, in in chat as well marshal another one that that uses a lot of these so there is uh, just you know a l lots of demand possibly also a little bit less mining going on in in nullsec and so now we are seeing this go through the 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 absolute roof all right so um the current price 63000 you can see you know i am i am selling i am i'm trying to sell all of my stockpiles of morphite because this is obviously a very very high price um it's uh it's a good time to sell uh, un, uh, uh, unquestionably it shouldn't um it, sh it shouldn't stay there for for that long i expect it to go down in the in the long run but uh, right now absolutely <clears throat> absolutely an, an an item that is trading way way too high so liquidate your stockpiles now um 
The other item I want to talk about is hydrogen isotopes. We talked about those earlier. Hydrogen isotopes are um, used for um, Marauder uh, for um, Minimitar uh, jump drives, right? If I if I have my isotopes right, uh, they're also used for fuel blocks, and so um, definitely this has an impact on the market. Uh, this item went up by what 50 percent so this is this is massive uh but you can also see that this is one huge trade day so it's very very possible that one party one entity one group has bought them 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 all up and uh, there's just a a temporary high price and and low supply on these don't expect this to to last either now um another item that is uh up interestingly is the 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 bus dart so this is a caldari um uh hauler this is uh you know this is one example of the recent moon material prices pushing up so a, a, a bus dart is main, made up mainly of neodymium and dysprosium two moon materials that have been uh, in low supply and uh, the price has gone massively up so as we see those prices rise we're going to see more and more of these tier two ships also rise in price as the cheaper stocks are being depleted and are being uh, produced at a higher higher price so industrialists aren't going to be selling at the the old prices here so another rising uh, rising price item so overall um you know, we have a lot of market activity this week. We have a lot of rising prices uh, as well. Um, and uh, let's let's finish maybe the, the Oz report with having another look over here. So if we look at low, uh, low supply, uh, so in, in short supply or largest drop in supply items, you can see here the Nestor. I think there's about two Nestors left on the market. So the Nestor is... Uh, uh is is sold is sold out oh right now there's about eight but the the price is quite high at uh, uh over at uh about 1.5 trillion uh, 1.5 billion so the nester is uh, is out and expensive we also have the the tempest being basically uh gone from the market you can ignore plex and large skill injectors in this list because they are they're they're always at low supply because the trade volume is so high but uh, as I mentioned, you also have the the neodymium uh, out here that is a a cause for a lot of the uh, the the high tier two production prices, and uh, this is also trading at a very very high price, and uh, and the supplies are below one trade day. So overall, um, you know, quite a few quite a few items being being bought out, quite a few items being possibly manipulated quite a few items gone from the markets and so um you know lots of lots of uh lots of opportunities to be had but also time to maybe have a look at some of those stockpiles that you've collected over time and uh, and and liquidated them overall there's not a lot of surprises in the underpriced vol 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 underpriced items except for the dramiel the dramiel is trading 30 percent under we can have a look at that in the in the game client uh in in, in underpriced here you can see that the dramiel is just you know it's been uh, dropping in price uh, a lot and uh, i'm assuming this has to do with uh, the this being a pirate faction ship and the lp uh, just being dropping in value or maybe even kind of like the worm this being available in other pirate um, faction uh, LP stores possibly I, I I didn't check this but a, quite a, a quite a few of these pirate faction ships have been dropping in value so this is this is also not not uh, out of the ordinary and probably not a good investment because these are more temporary changes um isogen on the other hand is uh, dropping more in 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 price and uh, even though we had a little bit of a rally this week it's still overall uh, underpriced uh, but not really as i've said in previous weeks because i i don't expect isogen to uh, recover i expect it to go down rather because it's still trading too high all right i think we'll leave it there for the week so that is the Oz report, and we're going to return to the regular stream and discuss everything we just uh, uh, we just I just presented, and then we're going to see you guys uh, in the Oz report next week.